Hi, I'm Dan Fay, Director of the Earth Energy and Environment Effort here at Microsoft Research. Imagine having the ability to take a tour of the cosmos from your living room. Not just a tour of a two-dimensional image, but an image that allows you to zoom in to distant galaxies from anywhere within that image. The TerraPixel project from Microsoft Research makes that possible, and it's available to everyone for free via the Worldwide Telescope. Using Microsoft's high-performance computing infrastructure, the TerraPixel project created a smooth image of one million pixels or a TerraPixel inside. Now, let's take a look at how Microsoft Research was able to create such an amazing image. Just how big is a TerraPixel? Imagine your old cell phone camera that would take a one megapixel image. If we took each one of those pixels and replaced them with a full megapixel image each, that would equal the data displayed in a TerraPixel image. If we wanted to display the image at full resolution, we would need 500,000 HD TVs. Now imagine that we need to print the image. On a standard printer, the resulting image would be almost 278 feet, or about 3 quarters of a football field. Now you can access all of that data using Worldwide Telescope and Bing Maps. The TerraPixel project began with data from the Digitized Sky Survey which is a collection of 1,791 pairs of images taken over a period of 50 years by two ground-based survey telescopes, the Palomar Telescope in California in the U.S. and the U.K. Schmidt Telescope in the New South Wales, Australia. The Palomar Telescope took photographs of the northern sky and the southern sky down to about 30 degrees south. The U.K. Schmidt Telescope took the rest. When combined and processed, the images represent the entire night sky as seen from Earth. The telescope imaging process introduced certain artifacts into the plates, such as varying levels of brightness, noise, and color saturation, as well as vignetting, a darkening of the edges and the corners of each plate, which needed correction in order to generate a clear, seamless image. Here is an example of how vignetting appears in an image. Note the brightness of the center of the image, as compared to the dark areas around the edges. In order to deal with a massive amount of data, developers use Trident, the Microsoft scientific workflow developed by Microsoft Research, to manage all the individual steps within the project. Each stage of the process is a Trident workflow activity. To take full advantage of the hardware and the computational power available, Trident uses Dryad Link and the .NET parallel extensions running in parallel on a Windows high-performance computing cluster. By making use of the .NET parallel extensions and 28 quad-core nodes, the efficiency of the data decompression was increased dramatically, saving 49 hours of processing time over the use of a single core. Take a look at these two videos. On the left, you can see how images would have looked if we had simply stitched them together. Using a process developed jointly by Microsoft Research and Johns Hopkins University, Developers were able to stitch the images together into one single seamless image. The result of the TerraPixel project is a full color 24-bit RGB TerraPixel image of the night sky. The artifacts of the original telescope imaging process, differences in exposure, brightness, noise level, and color saturation have been programmatically removed. The resulting image can be viewed in the Worldwide Telescope and by Bing Maps, both freely available. Thanks for checking out how the TerraPixel project was created. Now go check it out for yourself at WorldWideTelescope.org.